What is up, Spy Ninjas? I turned my house into a Taco Bell fast food restaurant. Yeah! Hey, I turned the safe house into a McDaniels. My fast food's better than your fast food. I'm gonna make the most moolah, feed the most bellies. We're hungry! Feed us! Where should we eat, y'all? McDaniels or Taco Chad? Taco Chad has hot sauce. I really like spicy stuff. But McDaniels got those chicken nuggies. Mickey Danny's. Sounds good. Well, let's just order some items and see who has the better restaurant. Taco Chad, uh, I would like to place an order. Go ahead with your order, please. I would like Baja Blast extra large. Ah, uh, yes, that's gonna be one large Baja Blast. I just sent that order to my gourmet chef in the back. Hello, welcome to McDaniels. What can I get you? I would like a extra large Sprite. Listen, Regina, I'm, I'm kind of trying to win this thing here. How about instead of a normal drink like a Sprite, I make you a McFlurry? Yeah, I'll okay. do an M&M McFlurry then. Oh, I got some Oreos. Oreos. Okay, order an Oreo McFlurry. Uh, one Oreo McFlurry coming right up. Thanks, Daniel. My customer's gonna love my food the best. My customer's gonna love my food, boy. You're on. Here at Taco Chad's, we don't have access to the real Baja Blast, so I gotta make it myself. Taco Bell is the greatest restaurant in the world. I go there almost every day. V doesn't always let me go, though. Oh, yeah, that's a Baja Blast. No one can tell the Looks difference. Gross. Everybody loves to make a flurry, right? You just put some ice cream. Oh my gosh, it's frozen solid. Oh, <laughs> like microwaved or something. It's dangerous. Well, McDonald's is the most popular fast food joint in the whole world, I'd say, isn't it? There we go, now it's melted enough. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh, customers! I've made you all a Baja Blast. The color looks pretty accurate. And look at the carbonation in there. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. You know, I'm a certified Yelper, so... Five stars? I'm gonna have to give it a one. You can't do that. It's also room temperature. I give it a two. Seems like you use off-brand sodas and Powerades, Chad. The size of the drink I ordered was an extra large. This is definitely an extra small. Outside of the US, this is the extra large. Oh, this is a European Taco Bell. Yeah. Ah. After you drink that, European. <laughs> I'll give this a four for the European Taco Chad. Making that Baja Blast made me realize how genius the people behind Taco Bell really are. It's make it taste that good. Order up for a Regina Genera and friends. I made a McFlurry for you with Oreos, and I have some free samples for these fine young ladies. Mmm! Oh. Well, weird aftertaste. It's good, though. That is a weird, interesting aftertaste. It's coconut milk, because I know you're lactose intolerant. Oh, wow, how considerate of you. Mmm, it's good. I like it, Daniel. It kind of has this weird smell coming from it. Hmm. It's kind of off-putting, but <laughs> It's great. ice cream, not pudding. You can't mess up a McFlurry. It was literally two ingredients. Ice cream, Oreos. What do you ladies think? The Baja Blast or the McFlurry? Baja Blast kind of tasted like watered down Powerade. There was more effort put into the McFlurry. Yeah, I agree with that. I like the considerate of coconut milk rather than the whole milk. But we're so hungry! <laughs> if you call yourself a Mickey D's, then you have to have the iconic McDonald's burger, a Big Mac, right? Yeah, we got those. Does it have the tender, juicy meat and the fluffy buns? <laughs> I, I can do that for you, sure. Not disappointment. I'm gonna cook the best Big Mac you ever had. One Big Mac coming up! I'd like to order something. My favorite thing on the Taco Bell menu, the iconic Crunchwrap Supreme. You know what? It's your lucky day. Today we have a special. A special on the new Doritos Locos Tacos Quesaritos. I don't like Doritos. It's delicious. It's the perfect mix of flavors and fun. But I ordered a Crunchwrap Supreme. One Doritos Locos Tacos. Why does this Doritos keep Doritos. to me? Here at Taco Chad's, we here at McDaniel's. Hey, I'm filming over here. I'm cooking over here. Well, here at Taco Chad's, we want to use the freshest meat possible. And we put it in the hot pan. Listen to it sizzle. I know the ladies didn't really care for my Baja Blast, so I gotta step this up, and this has gotta be even better than McDaniel's. How do you feel about Chad opening up a Taco Bell in 
the safe house. I feel like it's been his long time dream next to the DeLorean and then next to Mary. Me. <laughs> I gotta make a Big Mac. Everybody knows what a Big Mac is, right? Put the burger in the pan, you see? Oil this one up. A little bit of this. <laughs> yeah. Regina. Ooh, sizzle, sizzle, baby. baby. This is what do you think about the boys opening up fast food centers inside the safe house? You know, if they want to explore new avenues and they want to uh, open up a fast food restaurant despite how terrible it is and uncleanly it is, they probably want to pass the health inspector, but hey, I support it. I'm not a big fan of tomatoes myself, but if you cut them up small enough, you might not even notice they're in there. You. Now you shouldn't try this at home unless you're a fruit ninja like me. Hey, yeah! I gotta cut these smaller. No problems, no problems. Okay, all right. Sorry. Let's flip the burger and see how what it looks like. Wow, look at that. That looks like a McDonald's burger right there, right? You gotta make sure you cook the meat all the way. You don't want raw meat over here, you know what I mean? Hey Siri, how do you cook hamburger? Oh, I didn't put any oil or butter. Chad! This guy's Googling over here. Can you use vegetable oil and meat? How's that? Is that good? What kind of Is that a little seasoning? We also do it in style. We need three buns for one Big Mac. You have the bottom bun, the top bun, but in the middle, there's another slice of bread. Isn't that crazy? Huh? Can you imagine it? Kia! Ah! Classic fruit ninja. Yep. Vegetable ninja. Ah! Squirt me in the face! Careful, Chad. Onions make you cry! So, what is your opinion of Chad's cooking? You know, Chad is actually surprising me a little bit. I saw him cutting the onions. He almost cut off his finger, but, you know, I'm sure it's gonna taste mediocre at best. Wait, do Big Macs have onions? They have very finely chopped onions. Well, I need an onion, Chad. Fine, you know what? I'm a good sport. I'll share my onion with you. <laughs> what? My onion. The key to making a great burger is you have to time the cheese placement perfectly. When the burger is 90% done, you do a little bit of that. Mmm. Get a little onion on there. Let's cook these onions up so you don't taste them very much. Oh. Hey. Wait till the health inspector visits his restaurant. There's someone behind me talking smack. Oh, Allie, you shouldn't be talking smack. <laughs> I like to keep my tostadas warm. There we go, yeah. Woo! Now we need some cheese. Because cheddar is better. Now I'm gonna let this cheese just melt. It's gonna get so delicious. All right, patty one. The middle bun has to be really smushed. Patty two. This burger is in two pieces, but we gotta make it so they don't know. Oh geez. Bad cut of meat. Bad cut of meat. Happens. I got. I gotta flip. I gotta flip the one. Doritos. Right about there. My tummy is rumbling. Are you me? I'm gonna add another layer. Now we add the meat. Add a little meat. Yeah. Fantastic. Great work, Chad. Now we gotta put the lettuce on. Right, some lettuce. I'm gonna steal some of Chad's onions. Oh yeah, that's a lot of onions. I saw that you stole no, no, Chad's so. ingredients and- I'm gonna keep an eye on you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this. He said I could. It was an act of kindness. He handed me this onion. I stole his onions, but same thing. Oh. We're gonna make things spicy. Just a little bit of Diablo sauce for a little kick. A little kick bump. And a little sour cream. This burger's looking kind of dry. It needs a special sauce. Smear it around. Oh, you should have made an M. Logo. Oh, it's an M and a D. Oh, you're right. Oh. What a coincidence that was. You're an artiste and you don't even. Notice. No. <laughs> One, two, three. Wow. Now we fold it up. Oh, look at that. Oh boy. That is a work of art. Big Macs have pickles, I think. These ones? Oh my gosh! Oh. You were gonna stick your fingers in there? Okay, I'll use a fork. I think I'm here to supervise. Here we go. Wow. Using the fork. Pickle. Two pickles? Okay. Ask me the absolute perfect. Order up, order up. Somebody uh, ordered a Big Mac, I believe. That was moi. All right, presentation is it? Hey! Wow. It's like a burger. Everybody has to try a piece. I'll cut it for y'all. Mmm. Go ahead and grab that slice. That's for you, Allie. Look at that cross section. Regina, you have the best part, the middle. 
Now, there is cheese in that V, but I tried on the first round, okay? Can't do them all. <laughs> it's juicy. <gasps> is that a good thing? It tastes like McDonald's. It does? Yeah. This is really, really good, Daniel. You're a <laughs> chef. Well, hold up, hold up. Hey, what do you think? I think the meat's a little overdone. There's cheese and the onions are raw. Secret sauce what? is not so secret. It's a little, a little flat. I'm sensing bias. 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 The customer is always right. You may have not enjoyed the meal, but we can fix this for you. Five more ba no, he's ready. Good job. Have you heard about the new restaurant in town? Everyone's tacoing about it. <laughs> I got one good customer. <laughs> Here it is, V. Go ahead and examine it. Well, there's a secret ingredient, but uh, I like to keep it under wraps. <laughs> Do you try and chat? Gather around, everybody. Ooh. Look at that cross section of deliciousness. It's okay. Is this melted cheese? Yeah. She's gonna be your pooping. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like a fast food place. <laughs> the meat is less juicier than that McDaniel's. Bada bing, bada boom. That's because his was undercooked. I don't know, Chad. This is just, ugh. This looks like a disaster. <laughs> Let me try. You know what they say, the customer is never wrong. They're usually not right either. <laughs> I can't believe it. The dryness to it, it's just, <laughs> it's like I'm at the beach in the desert with nothing to drink. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. You know, my quesarito, I thought it looked spectacular, but it was a little too dry. Next time, I'll add more sauce and maybe a little bit of water. I don't know, I'm not a chef. I think it was actually pretty good. It was cooked perfectly. There was no red in the middle. People don't realize there's a bun in the middle of Big Mac. I pay attention to detail. Okay, burger or taco? If I was in a desert and I just had dirt or taco, I'd probably choose the dirt. So washing down the taco. They both have cheese in it, so I think we should give them another chance and let's see how they do with desserts, okay? Mm -hmm. That's an easy thing to make. I think they're gonna nail it. They can't yes. mess this up. So let's order some dessert. Oh, my Excuse customers me. have returned. Would you like to order some desserts, please? What desserts do they have? Oh, oh what my desserts, gosh. What desserts do we have? Ah. We have cinnamon twists. We have cinnamon delights. I'll go with the twists. Cinnamon delights! Again? Oh, I guess we don't have to order at McDaniel's. He's already making something. Hey! The customers want to order! You can't just make it! It's a fast food restaurant. The only way to be fast is to assume what you want. Parfait, eh? I don't think it works like that. Hey, you know. A yogurt parfait? That's not dessert. It's gonna have fruits and all that stuff. Here at Taco Chad's, we have lots of fun. You know how we have fun here? We rap while we work. I just gotta have a tostada, carne asada. That's right, I want the whole enchilada. My only addiction has to do with the flour tortilla. I need a quesadilla. That was really loco. Well, I'm making a parfait for my lay days. I got some blueberries and some strawberries too. And you put some mayonnaise yeah. in those blueberries. No, no. What do you think so far about the, the boys cooking? They're kind of a lost cause. Daniel has absolutely no cook experience. The last time we tried to cook, he burnt the buns. Flashback. Ah! Oh my God! What do you think so far of Daniel's cooking ability? I'm sorry, I, I'm trying to be nice. Don't, move on, next. At the real Taco Bell, it goes inside. How do they get it in there? I could add the cream cheese now and then microwave it, but I think it's gonna melt all over. So I think I need to add it after. Maybe if I cut it open and add some inside, and then that'll glue it back together. Oh, it works! What do you think about Chad's cooking ability? Non-existent. Desserts! Where are my lovely customers? Dessert! Where are my beautiful customers? Where's my gorgeous customers? Where are my bodacious customers? Where are my mm -mm, now that's what I call beautiful human customers. That's one step too far, Daniel. <laughs> Sorry. Cinnamon, sugar, and a fun time over here. You know, the crushed nuts? Hey Daniel, something came in the mail today. These nuts! <laughs> oh my god. God hilarious chat! Come get them while they're hot. I made extras because I know you guys are gonna love them that much. Is there something 
It's cream cheese. <laughs> okay, I thought it was mayo. No. <laughs> Give it a shot, everybody. It's just like cream cheese? Cream cheese. Chad, it's like you've, we've never met or something. Oh. You don't know what I'm allergic to. You took your lactate pill, right? I did, I did. Bro. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. It hit you at the end. You get a lot of cheese at, at one moment. Yeah. At first you're like, bruh. Mm -hmm. And then it hits you. And you're like, girl! Mm -hmm. Right? It's too much free! Yeah. Daniel, you try it. You expect me to try it. that? Yes. Alright, I'll take a bite. I'll try it too. Sink it and plink it. Oh! What the heck? Wow, that's a lot of cheese. <laughs> oh, but now it's hitting me. Girl! girl! See? Cinnamon delights. They didn't turn out as good as I wanted to, but it wasn't that bad. After you got past the initial like ah, taste, then it was like, oh, that's not too bad. Well, you know what? Chad's has a good aftertaste. It comes together in the end. My parfaits come together right at the beginning, the middle, three quarters of the way, and then the end. Did someone say mayo? Regina, I promise it's yogurt. So this is uh, <laughs> the dairy in this yogurt. <laughs> you cannot eat anything today. Yeah. Really stuff. Give what it, the heck? Oh. Just give it a try. Don't look over there. Just imagine this. I'm just gonna eat it. Ew. Yogurt. Yeah. Yogurt. Yeah. Yogurt. It's the warm yogurt for me. It's warm? Did you remember to refrigerate this? You're supposed to refrigerate yogurt? Did you slice the strawberry with the onion knife? <laughs> <laughs> Onions, strawberries, they're vegetables. Really good. Parfait yogurt is so good for you, you know? Chad's was like meatballs filled with cream cheese. Like that's disgusting. Okay, girls, what do we think about the dessert? <laughs> they really tried. I thought Chad came through with this one, you know? Yeah, one had a lot of cheese, savory flavor, and the other one was also savory because of the onion strawberries. Oh, yeah. Okay, girls, are we still hungry after all this? I'm hungry, bro! I kind of lost my appetite. I just need to go to the bathroom. Oh. All right, guys, let's tell them who's the winner of the whole DIY restaurant in your home challenge. Time to announce the winners. First, we'll start with the appetizer. The Baja Blast versus a McFlurry. Versus a McFlurry. Uh, it was that forgettable. No. Well, I ordered something else, but the winner is McDaniel. Yeah! Uh, round one, McDaniels. Ba, 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 ba. Big Daniel sucks. Oh. All right, and for the main entree, the Big Mac versus the burrito, we have chosen yet again McDaniel's. Yeah, baby. Anyways, for the dessert round, we decided on one over here, maybe. Taco Chad. Oh my gosh! Oh, I've never been happier in my life. Oh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. So, two points for me, one points for you. I won! Hold the phone, no, 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 no! Don't celebrate yet, okay? There's still one very important thing we're forgetting here. What? The customer service! How many times did I compliment the beauty among the customers? How many times did he patronize you? What's important for me is safety. I like people using clean hands and switching out their knives. At Taco Chad's, he also let us order dessert. Daniel just started making dessert without us even putting it in order. Whoa. So, the customer service point goes to Taco Chad's! So much. Wait, I've got two points. I got two points. I don't want to settle for no tie. Yeah, we're not gonna settle for no tie. Taco Chad, it's not bad. You beefing with me, boy? The only thing I'm beefing is in my tacos. People don't go to restaurants to have good customer service. They go for the food. They go to a place where oh, the, the yeah, person yeah, can yeah, speak yeah. English. Yeah. Taco Chad, no, it's not bad. Yeah, no, Oh, guys at home, please help me decide on who is better at this, Taco Chad or McDaniels. Comment below, okay? So help us out. All right, let's try and do a kick pop out with these fools. Come on, guys. Let's do a kick pop. Don't forget to hit the bell. Comment below, it's Daniel. Chad. Daniel, stop. 